Um, I know we've probably got a few jaded heads this morning because of England's success last night in the rugby, so big cheer for England. Right. Well done, guys. Right. Um, welcome to the first Petswood 10K. Um, on behalf of Petswood Runners, I'd like to welcome you to, the, as I said, the first Petswood 10K, sponsored by Edmunds Estate Agents and raising a fantastic amount of money for a really needy call, which is Harris Hospice Care. This is not only a memorable occasion for Petswood and for Petswood runners, but hopefully for each and every one of you running today. This course, I must warn you, is not a fast course. But don't worry, as you're all set your own PBs today. And you have a chance next year to beat it, hopefully. As with all races, I've got a few safety announcements to make. So if you can all be quiet and listen, because they are extremely, extremely important. Right. Firstly, in accordance with UK Athletics Health and Safety, can I ask you to refrain from wearing headphones on the course? Um, I know there's going to be a few groans and stuff like that, but I have to make that announcement. Um, the course itself is undulating. It's mainly off-road, along footpaths, some of which are very narrow in places. All I would advise is that beware of low branches, uplifted ground roots and muddy and slippery surfaces that may be present. So please do keep your wits about you. As with all races, I know, can you please obey the instructions of the marshals and the police at all times. They are there for your safety, not to ruin your race. And also, can you please respect members of the public because you will be in running on public footpaths and they still have the right of way. We have qualified first aiders, which are going to be located at various points around the course, and we have St John's Ambulance, which will be on hand at the finish line to ensure your safety. If you have any first aid requirements, can you please make yourself known to a marshal who will assist you to the nearest first aider? Right, this is the big one. At about 1.5 kilometres into the race, you're going to have to cross a railway bridge. There's 35 steps going up and 25 steps coming down. Anybody who wants to challenge that after the race, come and see me. <laughs> <laughs> on exiting the woods, on the final, just past 8 kilometres, you're going to be moving back onto pavement. The roads itself... Hello, um, The roads itself are not close to traffic, so please, please stay on the pavement and, and be aware of the traffic. Once you finish, can you please keep in line and stay in the position that you finished at the finishing line over there and don't forget to collect your fantastic commemorative medal. <laughs> that just leaves me to say on behalf of Petswood Runners, thank you so much to each and every one of you that are going to be running today and for being part of the first 10k race. Have a fantastic race and I hope that you really, really do enjoy yourselves as you and every one of you are making a little bit of history today. I would now like to hand over to our official starter the Mayor for Bromley, Council Pauline Tunnicliffe. Thank you very much. Good morning everybody. And um, I would just like to say how delighted I am to be here this morning to officially start the first ever Petswood race. And thank you to the Petswood runners for organising this. And just to reiterate again, thank you to Edmunds Estate Agents for their sponsorship and support. The chairman of Harry's Hospice Care, Richard Lane, who um, I'm sure is a familiar name to many of you, has asked me to say that he is very, very sorry that he couldn't be here this morning. He is on another engagement, unfortunately. But he also wishes you all luck. And actually, looking at you all standing there ready to run, I half wish I was having a go with you. But I have uh, the lesser of the, uh, oh, the, the easier task of starting the race. So, I will uh, now say, on your marks, I'll try and not do a full start, I don't think I could bear it, three, 